In this video, we are going to talk about converting units. So this is if, you know, the sign says it's 60 miles per hour, but you're from Canada and you want to know how many kilometers per hour is that? How do you go from one unit to another? This is important for this course because we will convert a lot of units. And despite all the different units and all the different ways that we can solve them, and find them and get those values. 99% of the math problems in this course can be solved in exactly the same way. So we're going to show you that right now. Let's say we want to do that conversion. Let's just go one mile. One mile, and we're going to turn it into how many kilometers? And we're going to do it through one of the more long, accurate paths. And so we're going to say, hey, I have one mile. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it into feet. So how do I go from miles to feet? Well, if I know the amount of something I have, I can do some math. So one mile is over one. If you ever just have a number, it's over one. So I have one mile. Well, I don't want to be in miles. I want my answer to be in feet. What I need to do is I need to get rid of the mile. If you think to algebra, if you have you know, one x and you multiply it by something that is two y over x. Well, I have an x on bottom down here, and I have an X on top, up there. They would cancel each other. As a result, your answer then just becomes the other unit. Well, this is what happens with units. Variables like X and Y, units work the exact same way. I'm in miles. I need miles to go away. It starts on top, which means I need miles underneath. And I want to be in feet, which means I need feet on top. Any time I want to convert from my any unit, my starting unit, into a new unit, what I need is a ratio of those two units so that I can cancel one of them on top and bottom, leave the second one that I want in the correct top or bottom. When we were learning English to English ratios, we knew that one mile was equal to 5,280 feet. You can write this as 5,280 feet over every one mile. You can also write it as one mile over 5,280 feet. It doesn't matter which is on top and bottom. That equivalence, that equal, that is a ratio. For every one mile, there are 5,280 feet. If I have 5,280 feet, I have one mile. So it doesn't matter which is on top and bottom, except I want to get rid of my miles, so I need to pick the arrangement that puts the mile on the bottom. In this way, my miles will cancel when I divide. My feet well, I'll multiply by foot, and I'll have foot left over. And so my answer is 5,280. This method is used to convert every unit we want to convert. And so after feet, well, if I'm in feet, I can go to inches. I have 5,280 feet. I want to get out of feet and into inches, because I'm trying to solve my inches. This means I need a ratio of feet and inches. Well, in every one foot, there are 12 inches. So 5,280 times 12 divided by 1, we find 63360. It is 63,360 inches. And I can keep doing this. I can go, hey, I can go from inches 
to centimeters. We had that ratio. It was every one inch was 2.54 centimeters. This was the perfectly accurate English to metric length conversion. And I can even go from centimeters to meters and from meters to kilometers. Remember our original question was, you know, one mile was how many kilometers? Any specific conversion, I just take my first value, find a ratio of that value to my second value, divide out my first value and end in my second. So my miles, I found my ratio of miles and feet to convert to feet. My feet, I found a ratio of feet and inches to convert to inches. I can take my inches, 63,360 inches. I can get out of inches and into centimeters. One inch is 2.54 centimeters. This will tell me how many centimeters a mile is. And that is 160934. 160,934. Technically 0. 0.4. So I have my centimeters. Well, if I want to get from centimeters to meters, 160,934.4 centimeters. Get out of centimeters and into meters. Well, there is 100 centimeters in every one meter. I'll move my decimal twice. And so 1,609.344 meters. And my final step was meters to kilometers, 1,609.344 meters. If I want to get out of meters and into kilometers, well, I need a ratio of meters and kilometers. Remember, a kilo contains 1,000 of the other thing. And so in a single kilometer, there will be 1,000 meters. So I'll divide by a thousand, my meters will cancel, and I will have 1.609344 kilometers. Through this series of calculations, I went from one mile to 1.609344 kilometers. This is the extremely accurate conversion of miles to kilometers. And in the often you will see that one mile is approximately 1.609 kilometers, which means it's not perfectly. There is a little bit of extra. And so while on Earth, that doesn't matter a lot normally, if you're trying to shoot a spacecraft at Mars, that little bit of extra adds up very quickly. And so depending how accurate you need, you may or may not use all those values. Uh, watch the video on significant figures for more information on that. But what we've done here is we've shown how to convert from one measurement using one system to another system. Let's try another example for that. Let's say you're driving and you are going 13 miles in every one hour, or maybe riding a bicycle. Well, how fast is this? Let's put it into some metric. Let's say, hey, how many meters per minute am I going? And so I want to say, convert this into metric in a shorter time. Maybe I'm not doing a full hour's ride. So I need to do some conversions. Well, 13 miles over one hour. First thing, we got to get out of miles and into meters. Now, as we saw in our last example, if I go from miles to feet, and then from feet to inches, from inches to centimeters, and from centimeters to meters, I can make this. There's also another option. What if I said, hey, I know that one mile 
is 1.609 kilometers and one kilometer is a thousand meters. It's a little bit shorter path. It's a little bit less accurate, but for our purposes, it'll probably be fine. So let's try that. I know that for every one mile, there is 1.609 kilometers. My miles will cancel out when I multiply and divide. At the moment, though, I'll have kilometers on top, and I'll have hours on bottom. I'm not finished. I want to get into meters per minute. So I need some more conversions. Now, I could solve it and then multiply and divide more, or I can just train them together. There's no reason you can't do these all at once. So let's get to meters. I need to get rid of kilometers and get into meters. This way my kilometers that are presently on top there in the middle will be canceled by the new ones on bottom. Well, a kilometer means for every one of that, there is 1,000 of the other thing. And so in this way, I can cancel out my kilometers and I'll end up in meters and over hours. Well, I need to be in minutes. So what happens if we have a unit on bottom? Well, I mean, I want minutes on bottom in the end. So what happens is I need to have minutes on bottom, and I need to get rid of that hours on bottom, so I'll have an hour on top. Now when I multiply across and divide down, I'll have an hour on top, and an hour on bottom, they will cancel out. In one hour, there are 60 minutes. And so hours will cancel. Multiply that together, and you should get about 348.7 meters per minute. Now, if you type in your calculator, you'll probably just see 348.7. Sometimes you'll see these units wrote, written as 348.7 meters per minute, that the numbers will be in front of everything. But really what this represents is it's this many of the thing on top over one. So 348.7 meters over one minute. When we do the division, that 60 gets worked out into this final number. So this is how you can convert from one unit to another unit. We will use this to go from miles to kilometers, from inches to centimeters, from grams to pounds, and later we'll even use it to go from weight of a molecule that you've measured out to the number of that molecule that it actually is. Um, for that, see the videos on mo molecular mass. Thank you for how to convert units